Uh, hello, how are you? Uh, Monday, whiskey auction, whiskey auction week even. I, know. I should have had whiskey this morning. <laughs> um, we are hectic. It is a big one. Uh, last week, last month was a big one as well. And that really uh, pushes us in the amount of shipping and logistics that has to be done and all that, the sorting and after that and payments and everything else. And then we had a lot of uh, other shipping to do, Dahi with the cash share and a few other projects that we were doing as well. So uh, yeah, it's and been the busy. Pub. And a and pub, yeah, and a minor detail of a pub to run. Um, I hope you probably all would have received, anybody who's members of uh, the Birdhouse with Redbreast would have received an email this morning for the, the Redbreast Day or whatever they're calling that thing. Bit gimmicky in my world, but I think, yeah, okay, it is what it is. Um, Redbreast has been flying lately, really has. I mean, last Get the month. Pun. Uh, flying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, even somebody mentioned to me the other day in Belfast we were at an event in Belfast and somebody was mentioning one of their bottles that is just kicked on another yeah. level so you know we were I was planning talking about that at the Red Breast in uh, our upcoming auction but then as I say it was just appropriate that the email went out this morning not that I'd ever know what Middleton are doing because they'd never tell me in a nice snazzy red board feeder this time Oh yes, lovely snazzy red bird feeder. Uh, uh, we have done, anybody who has seen our pub, uh, photos of the pub, we've done um, our, our bar lights. Bar lights are actually bird feeders. Uh, so it'll be lovely to have the red ones as well. For so Middleton, if you want to send us some bird feeders, we'll drink the whiskey and we'll use the bird feeders. in the. Bar. And we take pictures and yeah, tag you. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> you were jumping in on that. You were wagging as bad as I am. <laughs> I just want the red bird feeders. <laughs> Uh, red breast so as I said it's had real good features with us we'll start in the bottom row uh, first of all look the dream cask itself I mean what can be said about the dream cask it is the daddy of red breast collectibles that's the first one that was the first official dream cask uh, the 32 year old they've really done really really well in, in, in a relatively short period of time the four or five years uh, they're now selling uh, in excess of three thousand euros. Great return. Uh, Blake's the Hollow was one of the the, the more recent uh, uh, single cask release that was out. Uh, they had a launch night retrospectively for the the bottle that they had out during COVID and all that recently. Uh, and very we successful night. Go. We unfortunately couldn't go. We'd love to be down there yeah. with with the guys in Blake's uh, with Pat and Bernie because they do run a hell of a show Did down they? down there and. Uh, they're good, good, uh, good custodians of the Red Breast brand. This will be the first time that we Irish Whiskey Auctions have sold a complete set of eleven bottles of the the limited edition uh, American releases, the fourteen year old American release uh, bottles. Uh, it is probably at the time one of the most confusing ways. Uh, I think James Boland was the guy who originally done it. Who went to count exactly how many bottles was there of each or in total? Uh, I think it's about two and a half thousand bottles. They think, or it, two thousand or something like that. There's two hundred and fifty-two bottles in most of the releases. Yes. Some of them were really really hard to get. I think it was Oak and Violet that they only Which sold it by. One, yeah. uh, is it Oak and Violet? Yeah. That they only sold it by the measure in the bar. So anybody getting it had a real tough time. I mean, they, they, you know, you went to the bar, you paid for it by the measure initially and you got the bottle. And it was sort of really, really difficult when they, when they brought it out. So it was really tough to put a full set of them together. So it was really good that some guys did. As I say, that should do well. Yep. Redbreast are getting really clever with their different variants releases. And here's two proof of that. I mean, uh, proof, I like this again. Uh, this is a Kentucky Oak. So they had a blue box previously. It was called Small Batch. Oh, it was gorgeous. It's lovely. We really enjoy that. But that's a Kentucky, Kentucky Oak edition. 101 proof. Uh, and again, just, you know, playing for the market in America. And it seems to be working. This side of the, the, the pond, we have the, the what's called the Iberian series. Now, this was the only one that's out so far, the Pedro Jimenez. I expect them to come out with more because it has been a success. Uh, I know a lot of bars are looking for that uh, a lot at the minute because they really want it behind the bar because it's a it's a banging whiskey and at a, not a mad price. Yeah. So it's a really, really good one. Um, these little miniature red breasts, I mean, 
I know a fair few red breast collectors now and they lose their proverbials over little bottles of that particularly in that condition I mean the labels are perfect on them the caps are perfect on them fill levels are perfect they are ideal for a whiskey a red breast collector in particular um, two at the back Manuel of so when I said about the, the Dreamcast 32 being the first Dreamcast in truth the Manuel of was the first limited edition as part of the birdhouse um, uh, I, I can't remember the number I think off the top of my head I think it was two and a half thousand bottles um, of the Manuel of it gets rave reviews a lot of guys really really like that whiskey uh, it's just a banging sherry real amplifies the sherry that's in red breast and you know collectors want it as well to you know fill out their their dreamcast collection and uh, as i say it is technically the first dreamcast because it was the first uh, release through the birdhouse um a good pal of ours loves this whiskey uh, so much so that he got very drunk on it one night do you remember you were there uh, uh, this the 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 red breast twelve. Oh no, sorry, no, the twelve. It, it was, was the fifteen. 15 I mean, uh, yeah. uh, that's the red breast twelve, but that's one of the different presentations for. That was one of the first ones. Of the first ones, yeah. Well, it's it's the 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 Irish Distillers version when they'd taken over from Fitzgerald, so it's a it's a new box. But the the condition of the box, I think that's O five. I think that is. Uh, and the box is just pristine. So again, a must-have for collectors. On the end, we have these two. So this is the product sample that was sent out to people. They were really creative, Red Brass, with their um, with their uh, promo samples that they sent out yeah. to influencers. Obviously, we never got them, Katie, because we're not influencers. But all the others did. Isn't that right? I'm saying nothing. nothing. I want um, to bird feeders. You want to bird feeders? Don't gonna offend them. <laughs> uh, but uh, that was what they sent out. A gorgeous presentation of that. And uh, when they get it right, uh, the presentation. I mean, uh, red breast can be fantastic. Uh, lovely little cast sample and a ten year old. And that's one of the new. Uh, that was for when they relaunched the ten year old red breast, which we have. Which we have. We've loaded. Yeah, the, Not there's loaded. one there. Look. There's one there, exactly. Um, speaking of getting presentations right, I'm wrong. This is what happens when you get presentation wrong. <laughs> uh, this is called the apology kit, and this Long was uh, when the original. And I mean, look, again, to be critical of them, this year was probably the first year that they've actually got it right. So that's five um, Dreamcasts are out. Right. And this year was the first year that the presentation didn't come mushed, mashed, smashed, broken, you know, torn or anything. Or you wrecked it trying to get the bottom yeah, out of the Exactly. Box. It was the first year that they've got it right. They didn't change too much from the previous incarnations. But, my God, for such a big company, how can they get it so wrong at times? Well, nobody's uh, perfect. I am. No, you're not. Okay. Carry on. Uh, so this was, the apology kit was sent out to try and mend bridges when the original 32 Dreamcast came out. It came out in a, a presentation box. Glasses got smashed. Um, you know, everything. It was just a bit of a mess. They hadn't thought it through. The logistics of actually shipping these things yeah. uh, in, in, in courier en systems en masse. I mean, when it goes through a lot of courier systems, it goes on automated belts and it drops off belts and it gets battered around. I mean, we've huge experience of dealing with couriers and uh, what happens to the packages because, uh, yeah, I don't want to start slagging off uh, various companies, but wow. Uh, unfortunately, I know a lot of other companies have had mixed successes lately as well, shipping stuff. But I ramble, I digress. That was an apology kit. So it came with a, a red breast 12, mm -hmm. a scarf, and a, a pen, pen, and a pen, and a pen. pen. No, a pin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pin, pin. Yeah. And a letter saying, sorry. Oops, we've, oh, my bad. Yeah, oops. Yeah, our bad. <laughs> sorry about that. And uh, they also then, when they've done it, they sent out a new presentation box because the presentation boxes themselves were, were getting torn. And were really small ones. Like yeah. They weren't, they weren't deep. Yeah, and then they were getting torn and <laughs> uh, glasses were getting smashed and all that sort of stuff. So that's what happens when Red Breast gets it wrong. Now, because they're a 
gazillion pound company, they could afford to do something like that to for the you know to try and repair the 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 the, the damage to the brand that was done at the time. Um, they've had and since then with uh, two years ago one they had to send out replacement boxes because all the boxes were getting torn top and bottom where the bottoms yeah. were moving within it. There was no structural integrity in the box. I mean, it cost them money. Surely it must cost them money. No. I'm not playing my violin for, for Redbreast, but I just think, why doesn't somebody just stop or talk to people in the industry and go, you know, and uh, designers are great. You know, they'll design fantastic things and it looks really impressive. But when it comes to the practicalities of actually shipping the these things, yeah. You know, only recently we, you know, <laughs> those of you that were lucky enough to get the two stacks, the big one, oh, yeah. the three litre bottle. I mean, the logistics of shipping those things was just, I mean, we literally had to individually pack each one of them and wrap the living life out of it. Because essentially it's three litres, which means three kilos. Its own mass moves within yeah. the packaging, so... And then you put it on the whole conveyor belts of and, and couriers who think that they're international rugby players and they can go like that <laughs> yeah. and throw it, you know. So, and if any of you uh, international rugby players are couriers during the day, don't worry about that. Apologies, I love international rugby players. You do. I do. Uh, so that's it. Look, uh, Redbreast was the to kick off the week. I think it's a great brand. You love it. It's probably one of your first loves for Irish whiskey. I love it. I mean, the Redbreast Twelve is a cracking whiskey. The, 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 the single cast project that they've done which is coming to an end is another uh, great thing um, there is a few more coming out or in transition yeah. and yada 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 but I mean you know as a, as, a, as, a, as a steady bottle in the Irish whiskey see Irish whiskey you know plethora of bottles the Red Breast 12 is just a oh, must God, have yeah. you know must have but even I know uh, talking to, to guys the 21 and the 15 is getting short on numbers and getting limited availability to be able to order it. And particularly in America, I know talking to Larry and a few guys over there, it's tough to get as well. So uh, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Do you like that? Ah, it's good, Dan. Right, that's us. Uh, we shall talk to you tomorrow. I have no idea what we're going to talk about. It but probably we'll find... might be a little bit more refined yes. instead of a whole heap of yeah, 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 exactly. But Monday, fun day. Yeah, that's it. Go on. Bye. bye.